Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rinsk Kadauna and this is my art channel, Orange, the color orange. If you follow me and you have seen me making pours with orange, well, then you must be a big fan. Thank you. I think we can count them on one hand, but today I feel especially Dutch. So orange is the color of the Dutch and somehow I'm feeling an orange color palette today. I have a very vibrant orange and a lighter orange and I'm gonna create a bloom with the light orange around the bottle so that feathers out. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, don't forget the gloves. Yes. I have a white, a titanium white by Amsterdam, and I will start with that as the base. Spread that out. I would love to know, by the way, if orange is a color you use regular, because I must say I don't see a lot of artists using orange, but it is a beautiful color. And since I'm using orange, this is a true Dutch pour, isn't it? Well, a Dutch bloom. I call them a Dutch bloom. Okay, let's start with this vibrant orange. Woo and let's go with a Van Dyke brown mixed with some red. And not too much gold. You know, I love my gold. I just love the gold in the centers, you know. This really creates the bloom for me. And then I have this, yeah, what is it? A beautiful sort of light orange. Interesting. This is so interesting. <laughs> so the first blow is always the most interesting because then you see how all the colors are working together. It is beautiful. I'm loving the Van Dyke Brown. It's orange. Okay, I will torch the middle. So for these blooms, I always torch only the middle because I love when in the middle, in the center of the bloom, we have the cells and then when it feathers out with the petals, it's more one patch of color. Like in this paint, you know, in the middle we have cells and it makes the details there and then the petals are nice and clean. So here we have quite a lot of gold cells. I'm not liking that. And probably if the spin out works, then uh, I will be tweaking that. I'm going to spin. Let's go the other way. So. I remember now what I forgot, what I did with the pink flower is I tweaked already some white to define the petals a bit more and I didn't do that and now there are more big patches here. Okay, yeah, I love that. So let's spin it out 
more. So I can tweak it to my liking, but I'm really liking what's happening here in the middle and those colors. I think the colors were great, but the composition is not there yet. So let's keep working on that. I'm loving this petal. That's the cleanest one out of all. It's time to tweak, but uh, I'm surprised. This color palette is something. Okay, let's start tweaking. If I need to find the right composition, I think almost all angles are working here. That's something new. You know, maybe I should tweak this one that it doesn't go over the edge here. So it's more in balance with this pedal because this part is going over the edge. Okay, I will add the white on the parts that I scraped and then uh, show you how it looks now and how it dries. So, and mostly after I added the white back, so the background, I just give it a super light spin, so it levels out a bit more. And then it's time to let this dry and bring you up for the dried end result. <laughs> 